Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about cultural responsiveness. Let's see what cultural responsiveness means. It is basically an ability to learn from and respectfully relate to the people who belong to the same cultures and as well as to the different cultures. Being culturally responsive means that you have this ability to understand cultural differences and to recognize a uh, potential biases and what you can do is that you can look beyond all these differences in order to work productively. It actually enables individuals and organizations to respond respectfully and effectively to all people of all cultures, ethnic background, race, gender, religion and different diverse factors in a manner that you can acknowledge, affirm, their value and worth. Now we will see that basically cultural responsiveness is a key to diversity. Cultural responsiveness is a way of respecting and valuing diversity in all interactions and spaces. It actually involves understanding and responding to the cultural variables and dimensions of other people. It is basically a strength-based approach which means that it supports understanding, learning, well-being and health. Cultural responsiveness requires a person to be aware of his cultural identity and view and it also enables him to learn from other people. It is basically a mean to achieve and maintain cultural safety and equity for all people and it is very important for various social and cultural groups and especially for those who have been marginalized and discriminated on the basis of their ethnicity or their cultural background. Now we will look into the components of cultural responsiveness. The first one is belief and worldview. People who belong to different cultures, they have different beliefs that how the world works and how they fit in it. Communication style, uh, it means there are people who are introvert and extrovert, they are not very comfortable communicating directly, uh, sometimes the culture has an impact on their way of communication, we have to respect that as well. Then we can have the formality because there are different etiquettes, uh, different ways of communicating with people of higher stature uh, who are uh, senior to you and in different cultures it works differently, so we have to be very careful about how uh, they, uh, people from different cultures take formality. Then we have to celebrate cultural differences because when you are working in a diverse work environment, there are people who belong to different cultures, they have different norms, they have different traditions. We have to respect that. Uh, after that, the most important point is that we have to prioritize um, uh, fairness and inclusion because uh, when people are there who belong to different backgrounds, Disregarding the fact if they belong to a minority group, if they have a productive output, we need to be, uh, we need to take them um, and we have to welcome them. And we can also have this thing uh, to have the training where you can be more culturally aware of the people who are around you. Now, we will talk about cultural responsive teaching. It is basically an approach to education that caters the background, experience, and perspectives of students. We believe that people and students belong to different backgrounds, so they have different ways of learning, communicating, and interacting with the world. There are a few principles uh, which are required for culturally responsive teaching. Uh, for example, the first one is that you need to be uh, aware about different cultures. Uh, you need to respect diversity. Uh, you also need to build a relationship and team building is very much required. Uh, then we ha must have inclusive curriculum. For example, we, we can have students who belong to Peshawar or Sin. So we have to devise a curriculum that caters the needs of all students who belong to different cultures. Then we have to uh, devise uh, instructions in a way that are helpful for each and every student. Apart from these, what uh, a, a culturally responsive teacher can do is that they can devise collaborative learning, critical pedagogy. Uh, collaborative learning is a technique in which you make uh, a pair or uh, two or more than two students from different backgrounds can work collaboratively to meet an end. In this way, they will learn about the different cultures 
uh, from their uh, from their peers and and it will help them to um, learn new things and a critical pedagogy is basically a technique in which you just do not only focus on the teaching but rather also focus on their culture and society and social aspect of being together and apart from that professional development is very important uh, uh, for the teachers and uh, to teach them how they can be culturally responsive uh, there are few steps that you can do uh, in order to become a more culturally responsive teacher the first thing is that you can uh, assess your own behavior uh, you can get to know your uh, students uh, even though it is a difficult thing to do uh, to know your student on a personal level but yet it is a good thing that if you get a little bit knowledge about their cultural background uh, it is good if you make your classroom a judgment free zone because uh, there are people who belong to different cultures different backgrounds so as a teacher it is res your responsibility to uh, disregard all the differences and all the biases uh, try to adapt your teaching according to uh, the environment and at the end you can, we can see that uh, as a teacher it is your responsibility to cater all the needs of your students uh, because you are the one who is a mentor who needs to address to their needs and their questions so uh, as a teacher what you need to do is that you need to be welcoming for everyone whether they are coming from a minority background from a different culture or a different race as a teacher you are going to provide what is best for them